Hey everyone, we are back with another edition of the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. I'm Tim McMaster, and today we head out to Fenway Park in Boston. Christian Vasquez, catcher for the Boston Red Sox, joins us. Christian, thank you so much for taking some time for the Chatting Cage. Yeah, that's my pleasure, man. Happy to be here. All right, fans, you know how it works. You can use that hashtag Chatting Cage on Twitter. We'll use the MLB Fans app as well. Or get on your webcam and, and get in line and ask your own question for Christian. We're going to start on social media and the MLB Fans app, Christian. The first question is from British Red Sox fan. They want to know, what player inspired you to become a catcher? I think Pudge, you know, Ivan Rodriguez, you know, that's my favorite player growing up when I was a child and you know that's why I'm number seven right now and happy to see him in the Hall of Fame and you know happy to be from Puerto Rico too. Yeah just a couple of weeks ago that Pudge went into the Hall of Fame an awesome moment up in Cooperstown. We're going to stick to social media and stick on the the theme of, of Puerto Rico that you mentioned. Red South 43 wants to know how big of an honor was it to represent the world team and Puerto Rico in the Futures game back in 2013? Uh, wow, it's, it's a pleasure. You know, it's, you know, where that flag, you know, means a lot for us, you know, for uh, Puerto Rico. And, you know, it's very special, beautiful, beautiful. Hammerport wants to know what part of your game do you take the most pride in? You've got it done with the bat and behind the plate, but what do you take the most pride in? Uh, I think catching, you know, call games, good games, you know, win the game, you know, help my, my PC staff and, you know, throw everybody out in second base in the, in the bases. And I think that's the most important thing for me, you know. Excellent stuff. And uh, staying with social media, right on point 98. Uh, speaking of that defense, they want to know that when you think back to 2015, obviously that's the season you missed because of Tommy John surgery. What did you take away from having to miss that season, and what did you kind of bring with that in, with you the rest of your career? I think that's, you know, it's, uh, teach me a lot, you know, to learn the game. Uh, you know, that year I was in the dugout every day, you know, watching the game from the dugout, different view, and I think it helped me a lot to learn the game, you know, talk about, you know, the game more, little little things to help me. You know, and, you know, take care of my body, too. You know, you know, my, my, I, I lost a year, you know, my arm. And, you know, I need to take care of my body, learn my body more. And I, I think that helped me a lot. Yeah, and you, you show it on the field every day for sure. It's now time for the EDJ question of the day. Christian, the EDJ question is, where does your walk-off home run against the Indians rank among your favorite baseball moments? Uh... I think second because my, my my first one was my first hit in the major league. That was very special, you know. I think my family was, was watching that game in Houston in two thousand fourteen and, and but yeah, that Homer, you know, was my first walk off Homer. First walk off hit and you know, it's very special too. That homer, of course, came back on August 1st. The Red Sox down in the bottom of the ninth after a wild game. And Christian comes through with the three-run yeah. homer. And it's really kind of been one of the big sparks to this hot streak that the Red Sox have been on. We have a, another fan joining us now. Go ahead, tell us your name, where you're from, and ask your question for Christian. Hi, my name is Andrew, and I'm from Southern California. My question is, what is it like playing along this uh, Red Sox team with how well they're playing? It's, it's fun. You know, we're having fun in the dugout, in, in the clubhouse, everywhere. You know, it's very special to be part of this team. Now we're first place and, you know, we're racing to the playoffs. You know, we want to get to the fans here in Boston, you know, game, play in October and, you know, bring that trophy here. All right, and speaking of fun, uh, Players Weekend is coming up in a couple of weeks, and players get to wear some cool uniforms. You'll have nicknames on the back as well, and that brings us back to the MLB Fans app. Drew DeBrew wants to know, where did you get the nickname Colo from and why? Because you're going to be wearing that on the back of your jersey. Yeah, Colo means red hair in Puerto Rico. So, you know, I, I you know well, always call me like that, and, you know, that's – in my Instagram is 1990 Colo, 
that's why I got Colo in my my jersey that weekend. So it's 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 fun to wear that, and you know we're gonna have fun that day. Yeah, did you guys have a lot of fun as a team, kind of going through the nicknames at all? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that the funniest nickname is uh, the uh, Rodriguez uh, Gallo. I, I don't know. I don't know what that means, but it's it, everybody having fun with that. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun that weekend. A couple of weeks from now, we have a fan joining us again. Go ahead, tell us your name, where you're from, and ask your question for Christian Vasquez. Hi, Christian. My name is Jack. I'm re sorry, I'm really, really excited to meet you right now. Um, <laughs> this is really mind blowing. Um, but um, one question is, what is your favorite go-to gas station snack and drink? M and M's. I like M and M's a lot. <laughs> Excellent. There, that's the, those are the hard-hitting yeah. questions that we get here on the Edward <laughs> Jones Chatting Cage, Christian. We're going to go uh, back to social media here. Uh, and PR Daddy O wants to know, was it frustrating not getting a chance to play in the postseason last year? And how motivating was that for you getting ready for this season? Uh, thank, thanks, God, I made the team in the playoffs, you know, but, you know, Sandy did a great job last year, you know, bring that, that, that team to the playoffs. But this year, you know, we're together now and, and having fun together. And, and we hope to get more deep in the playoffs this year. Yeah, and you and Sandy have been such a great combination this year for this Red Sox team. Absolutely. Uh, back to the fans app. Twinning22 wants to know, what has been the key to the Red Sox current hot streak? You guys have won, uh, I think, 10 of the last 12 games. Yeah, we playing, you know, together, you know, we did, we, we did in a, a lot of small thing, you know, move the, the, the guy over, you know, bring the, those guys, we hitting, you know, for power, you know, Benitendi and, and, and Devers having great, great, you know, great season this year. And we having fun, man, and, and the pitching staff doing great job too. So that's why. Yeah, it's all coming together now, and that streak kind of coinciding with you mentioned Devers coming up from the minor leagues, and he's mm -hmm. given this team such a charge as well. We have another fan ready to go. Go ahead, tell us your name, where you're from, and ask your question for Christian. Hey, I'm Steph. Uh, I'm from New York, but I lived in the Brighton-Alston area for a little bit of time, and I am a Sox fan, so where do you think you've improved the most on in your third year in the majors? Uh, I think that, you know, I think, you know, working hard every day, you know, listen to my coach, coaching staff, you know, learning every day from my team, you know, the veteran players. I think that helped me a lot this year to prove, you know, that that I can play this game and, 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 and having fun. I think that's the key for every player, you know, have fun because this is a game so tough and, and have fun and, and playing the, the, the you know the, the play play the, the game the right way so yeah speaking of fun you need fun clubhouse guys and choosy woot yeah. on twitter wants to know who's the most fun in the red sox clubhouse uh <laughs> i think hanley is the, the the most fun you know is he come with crazy stuff and, and having fun every day bring that energy you know yeah, absolutely, and it, it seems like looking from the outside that Hanley has kind of picked up some of that slack from Big Poppy leaving, obviously, after last year and, and helping keep that clubhouse light. This is the Edward Jones Chatting Cage, and we have another fan ready to go. Go ahead, tell us your name, where you're from, and ask your question for Christian. Hey, Christian. Uh, I'm Cody. I'm from Buffalo, New York. Sox fan, as you can see. Um, you have an impressive arm uh, behind the plate. Is that something you've always just naturally had, or – is it really taking a lot of practice and work to get to where you are? Yeah, you know, I throw long toss a lot. I think that helped me to get my arm strength, you know, and I think that helped me a lot to get that power in my arm. All right, well, Christian, great stuff. We are out of time. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Chatting Cage. Thank you, guys. That's going to do it for another edition of the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. Make sure you tune in again next time.